Hi guys, it's me, Marcy. Hello, hello. And this is the 10th week that I've been doing these live Thursdays at 3's. That eventually do go up to my YouTube channel, which is, you can just find it by searching Marcy Lamberson. Pretty easy, huh? Anyhow, so today, I think it's my last official Thursday at 3. But I will still do more and I'll add them in. They just won't be at a specific time and place. I'll let you know when I'm going to be doing them. But this is my last Thursday at 3 because people are going back to work and they're getting out a little bit and maybe it's time. Okay, so number 10, but we're going to make it a good one because this week we're going to make a starfish. I don't know about you, but I've been dreaming about the beach. I want to go every year. Well, almost every year we go around the Memorial Day weekend to the beach because it's my birthday. And that's what I want to do because I grew up on the beach when I was a kid. Um, I pretty much lived at the beach when I could. So that's why we go. And that's why I'm always thinking about oceany things. You'll see a lot of oceany things in my work. And it's because that was my youth. And then you see some kind of mountainy Western things and we moved to Wyoming after we lived in Connecticut on the ocean. So you get a, quite a combination when you see my different work. And it's usually related to somewhere I've lived or some experience or something I've read or something that interests me. Anyhow, back to starfish. When I teach sculptural starfish in classes in my be there with everybody type classes. I teach them a different way. But next month is June and in the beginners group on Facebook, uh, it's my month for beach and ocean type things. And I thought, why not add an extra tutorial by doing it this week and then I'll put it up onto YouTube and I'll have it available for the beginners and intermediates who participate in that too. So that's beginning lamp work fun challenges. And next month is Oceany and Beach Things. We've been having flowers for the last two months. Oh, what a coincidence. That's what I was doing too over the last couple of weeks. But anyhow, so let's get started. I'm gonna put you, flip you around and put you into my little clip and we'll get started making starfish. And I did want to say thank you for joining me all of these weeks. I, I really appreciate it. It's been kind of fun and it's been something nice to do when everybody's been stuck inside, but I'm glad that people are beginning to venture out a little bit and be sure you stay safe and be careful and all of that type of stuff. So let's melt some glass, okay? And, oh yeah. I'm going to have some online classes too. So if you aren't a member of my group on Facebook, Glass Art and Beads by Marcy Lamberson, or on a friend on my personal page, friend me or join my group, and I will have all the information there. I'm gonna do some couple hour classes. And don't forget to say hi in the notes, please, because I really love seeing who's watched and any comments, okay. That's lots of chatting. Okay, here we go. Flip around, hook you in, make sure that we're in the right spot. You can see my hands here, so we know that this space is good. Okay, so how's everybody doing? Y'all doing okay? Doing anything fun yet? I'm still waiting for the fun part. It's finally getting nicer. It's been raining here in Atlanta, Georgia a lot. And the sun has finally come out today, which I am thrilled about. Okay, so this is my trusty old miner that always works for me and I'm really thrilled about it. We're gonna make a starfish today. And I thought about different ways of doing it, so we're gonna talk for just a minute. Um, when I do Sculpture One in class, we do a full sculpture where it's just the starfish, you know, the five arms going out like this. And it's pretty hard. 
And I thought, hmm, there's an easier way to do this. So we're going to make a base bead, and then we're going to make the starfish on top of the base bead. And I thought that there are different ways of doing that too. So some of the ways, you know, make this your own, the way you like to do it, but I thought, wouldn't a starfish on top of something like this Atlantis by Messy Glass, Creationist Messy Glass, I think that would be pretty with a starfish or sea star on top of it. I love the contrast. Or maybe even this color, and I forgot to see which one. If somebody knows, it's it's a Creationist Messy Glass too, and I couldn't find the tag on it. This is an Epitre Dark, um, dark uh, aqua, I think, transparent, and it's really pretty. So there's some color ideas if you want a different background. Me, I am going to make it a little bit differently. So we're going to use just ivory, and this is, I believe this is light ivory, although I really love dark ivory. I think it's just the first one that I grabbed. So do with whatever you want. And what we're going to be doing is making a base bead and then it's going to work kind of like the way we made the flowers before. So I'll show you. It's a little bit differently, but essentially the arms on the starfish or the sea star, if you're using the correct name that they're using now, um, are kind of like petals and in, in, in a way you're going to be stretching them out, extending them over the base bead. You just aren't going to be using a little uh, tool that cups them and turns them this shape. They're going to be kind of reverse shape. Okay, so base bead. I'm using the dip and go blue sludge or whatever the equivalent of that is. And I love it so much because uh, it kind of holds like concrete. And when you're doing something that's asymmetrical, it's nice to have something that holds like concrete. So I just made a base bead. And the way I look at it is, I have a picture of, uh, this is a picture I got off of the internet of a starfish that, um, this one's actually jewelry, but I still like the shape of it. I hope you can see that well that way. And so the base bead is going to be under the center part and then the arms are going to extend over the top of it and we are not going to be adding fancy stuff onto it but I just kind of like the shape of it with the way that the legs or arms went and the basic idea of it. So I wanted to show you something there. We're going to make this a little bit larger. And by making it larger, I already smashed it, so it's it's fine, but I'm just gonna uh, make the top section of it a little bit bigger to give it a little bit more support. And the way that I do that is I have my new glass on top of my base bead, and I'm gonna heat just that new glass really hot, and I'm gonna smush it and it's going to make the circle a little bit larger. So there we go. So that's how it looks on the bottom. That's how it looks on the top. And let's make some arms. The way that I make something that's five-legged, five-armed or whatever, is I divide it into two that are close together, one in the middle, one, two, like this, kind of the way a peace sign was back in the old days. And then I add in the arms in between this place and this place. So let me just show you. So similar to the way that we were doing petals, we're going to start inside. We're going to push down and then we're going to pull out a little bit. See how that works? We're going to fix it from there, but that's just getting us started. We're going to keep the back nice and warm, a little bit of warmth in the front, and heat up some more glass for the next leg, arm, I'm not sure what you call it. If you know, let us know. So I did the same thing. I went to the middle, and I added some glass, and I pulled some out. We're going to add to it and fix all of that. We're just getting the basics in first. 
heat up some more glass, keep the back warm. You guys, this should be so easy for you. We're gonna go straight up the top. And that's part of the reason why we raised it up a little bit. Can you see that side view, I hope? Um, whoops, there went some of my glass. I was, wasn't paying attention. I raise it up from the mandrel up this way so that there's room for the leg to come out so it's not gonna land on top of the mandrel. I'll just pick that up and use it. The tabletop's clean. Did you see how I did that? It was sitting there, it was still a little bit warm and it said, come on, use me up, don't waste glass. So here we go to the center, push down and pull up a little bit. Now I'm turning it upside down as I'm adding the glass to make sure that as that glass on that arm is cooling, it is not touching the mandrel. But if it does, you can fix that. I'll tell you in just a sec. Let me let that area cool a little bit. It looks kind of funny like that, uh-oh. Probably we need to add some more arms and then we'll discuss it. Because we're not trying to make a naughty starfish. Do not worry how the center looks. It's going to look kind of funny as we're adding from the center, but we're going to be building up that area anyhow. We might as well do it with our initial arms or legs or whatever you want to call it and here's the next one okay I was going to tell you what happens if it touches the mandrel let me just let that other arm cool If it touches, what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat up the area where it's touching the mandrel and you're gonna hold it upside down so that if it's attached, it's kind of hanging down a little bit, but there's still a little glass. You know, you've had that happen to you before. And then what you do is you heat up right there. Let me point with something. You point with a glass rod. That would be a good pointer. You heat up right there when it's attached and then you take your shears scissors whatever you have and you just snip boom right right where it's hot and it's connected just like that so you might end up with a little bit of bead release on your glass that comes off of the mandrel and what happens then is you can either snip it away or heat it up and take your tweezers or a little piece of glass and pull that additional part off because that stuff happens, and I just thought if we address that now, it's easier for you to know. Let me add a little bit more on this side. It was looking a little, um, what's the correct term for it? Hmm, with just those two in this one, it, it looked naughty. How's that? If, if I say it like that, you can probably get the drift. Okay, so let's start melting some of this glass in just a little bit and connecting it a little bit better. And then we're gonna start pulling, pushing, adding, doing all the different things we need to connect all the glass together and having it flow as one. How we're starting to get a starfish here we're adding to the shape to whatever we want and we're warming it up and pulling it out and I have to tell you that you want your legs to kind of if, sometimes we think oh they're so cute when they're kind of pulled out or whatever in the arms and making them curve which yes I totally agree with that but if you make them like the bottom legs go like this and the arms out like that, it looks more human than starfish. It just kind of reads that way. So you kind of want them all kind of either going in a similar direction or straight in one direction. You don't want to have them looking human. So just think of it that way. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit more, pull them out a little bit. 
We're going to add more glass as we need it. That's a little too much. That one can use a little more. So I just heated up some glass and added it onto the end. So it looks like that's the direction that we're making it go. This top part isn't connected the way I want it. I want it smooth. So I'm heating right there where it connects, pulling out a little bit. And I that goes down just a little bit too much. I want a little more glass on top of that. So I'm gonna let it cool and then add a little more glass on top. Kind of fun like this. You can, you can be kind of artistic with it, how you want it to go. So this arm, let's stretch it out a little bit and add a little more glass to it. And I want that arm a little longer. So I just added a little bit of glass to it. This one still needed a little bit more. It was looking a little thin there. We're getting closer this bottom one we're gonna add a little more glass because that looks like it lost part of its leg so you can just kind of add a little bit of glass as you go do you notice the color that I'm keeping it when I'm adding glass the glass that I add is quite warm where I'm adding it to is warm but not hot and it's not moving around it's all kind of in place and don't forget you can heat from the bottom and lift it up if you want it up a little bit higher too okay so we've got a basic shape here this arm is a little bit thin so let's add a little bit more to it maybe a little more length isn't that fun, adding glass and choosing the shape that you want? You can heat up just a little bit while it's warm if you want it a little pointier. This top section. Heating it up, moving it around. To me, this is one of the most fun parts of doing sculptural glass. The glass is like honey, and you get to push it and move it wherever you want it to go. Okay, so now what I like to do is to add another layer on top of it, but not covering all of it. I do like a star shape here, so it raises it up, so it has more of this kind of angle on it. So we're going to do that next. We're going to add, I go from the center. I add a little bit out, just following the shape of the arm. And you could do this with an accent color if you want, or a white, or the same color. I'm just doing the same color. And it's kind of like a star coming out, and it's adding a little bit of height to each of the legs, arms, whatever they are, appendages. I think it's called each of those, either an arm or a leg. But see how it kind of raises it up a little bit, but not the entire piece. And for those of you who love to make dots, this is the perfect item for making dots. You can make dots along each of the sides. You can make them all across the top. You can do whatever you want with it. So now what I'm gonna do is, uh, Make sure that the raised part is blended into the lower part. So it gives it kind of a little bit of a V shape. And I'm just using my brass tool, my stump shaper. And I'm heating it up and making sure that it's attached and melting into itself. You can also take a piece of glass and use it for blending also, moving your glass around. I think brass is quite easy to use for this. I 
heat it up a little ways and then just push with the hotter part either down or up. Okay, so what we're going to do is I will redo this video. He knows I do this every week. I don't know. Looks like he's not getting a home cooked meal tonight, huh? Okay, so let's keep going. We're almost there. Okay, so we've got all of the arms where we want them. So the last thing is if we want to add any dots or any details. Some of you have gotten some of these presses off of Etsy or maybe from Ray Skeen that have the little details on them. Something with a little bit of glass would be nice there if you want to do that. Or I'm rather partial to using silver to ivory glass for dots, but also a little bit of white would be pretty for details or even some aqua, something like that would be pretty too. And unfortunately, I can't see you. Um, so I'm just going to use white this time. And I am going to do just a few dots along here. But I want them to look nice. So it takes a few minutes. And I'm going to go around the edges and add some dots along there. I usually go down the center. And I'm just going around the edges here because I think it's kind of fun. You can add twisties to it. You can add some silver glass and reduce it and that will probably also fume it a little bit also with the silver and the ivory. But I kind of like the little dots going around it for a change. I saw this in a picture. Somebody had drawn uh, starfish and they had the little dots on the outside of the shape and I thought well this time we'll try it just for something different and let's do a few across the top what the heck I have the glass this is encased white stringer and one in the center and that my friends is your starfish for this live demo and thank you for joining me. I will have the video up in just a little bit. Take care and have a happy Thursday to you. Bye.